Hiya, hiya. From the home of the relatively unimportant, it's the uh, Joey Reynolds wrap. The morning wrap. Yes, we get up in the morning and we uh, talk about whatever happened before I got here. <laughs> I mean, not historically, but what happened before I got here was we had slaves and we had a lot of black people who were uh, indentured servants, as uh, the governor of Virginia told Gail King on television this morning. And he's heartily sorry for it, but says he thinks, thing, he thinks things happen for a reason and he's dedicating the next few years of his governorship to healing and to talking about uh, the uh, racial differences. There's, there's the bird that's uh, making a difference. Anyway, the, uh, the thing that happens with me is I am processing prejudice. And I, I think that I don't want to be reminded of it every day because I already know that slavery is wrong and I don't like mistreating another person, no matter what race, nationality, where they're at, what country they're from. I just, I, it's just offensive, it's immoral. Uh, we have two things, you got morality and you got ethics. Morality usually comes from tribal differences and religion. Ethics comes definitely from, from uh, parenting and tribal differences. So uh, I, I'd like to engage both in my brain, ethics and morality, and it, something tells me that when the governor of uh, Virginia is trying to be Michael Jackson, and you got Michael Jackson trying to be white, uh, they're, they're, they're both doing something that maybe is questionable, at least, you know? And, uh, you know, Michael Jackson took a lot of operations. At that point, he wanted to look like Diana Ross. Now, if he saw Diana Ross last night, maybe he would have changed his mind. I was watching the Gimmies or the Grammys. And, you know, I'm a Grammy winner from uh, my uh, Star Wars album, 1978, hello. Uh, that's a long time ago. And my friend who put this whole thing together was Pierre Cassette from Canada, Canadian guy. And there's an award called the uh, Juno Awards that my other friends put together, Stan Cleese and Walter Grealis. They started that organization. So, you know, I kind of like been in it. And, and, uh, and, and, and I'll tell you something. It's all about this celebrity culture we live in and gossip. Gossip takes the paint off of furniture. Why do we gossip about everything? Why don't we just do the facts? Because they're not entertaining, that's why. You know, I have a thing I, I, I always tell people about the president. I said, and all, this is all, all the presidents. They tell a lie, and then they tell another lie to cover it up. And the third lie is the entertainment. So we're in the entertainment portion. I'll bet you will, you will have not seen a day gone by, I shouldn't say day go, you haven't seen a day go by where, where the president of the United States, Donald Trump, is not on television or being pushed in your face for something. They, he has such a presence, it's like Max Headroom used to be. That was a, a character that was put on television for Coca-Cola. It was a, a, actually a, a sponsored event. And Max Headroom was a, a computer-generated character, animated character, like Avatar. Avatar is the biggest grossing movie in history. Do you know that? They're doing, they just signed a deal for three more of them. Uh, by James Cameron, who is the, the, the uh, director, because they made so many billions of dollars with this computer-generated thing, which uh, probably makes Disney a little nervous. Star Wars, we had computer generation. We had one that didn't make it, which was called uh, Damnation Alley. Uh, uh, was that it? Yeah. And that was 20th Century Fox when Disney was doing Trog or Troc or something like that. They, they were trying it. That didn't work. But I've had a lot of wars with Disney. You know, for one thing, when I was president of Wayne Newton's company, I put out a, a record on a label I started called Hollywood Records. And on that label, I had George McCann the third, who's from Connecticut, and he sang a, call, a song called, uh, I think it, it was Birds of All Nation at one time. He did, he did that as, as almost a hit. Uh, and George, they put on, uh, I, I gave it to President Reagan when he was running for office so that he would use it for a campaign song called Bir Birds of All Nation. Well, speaking of birds. Now, let me show you the thing I did. I had a war with Disney because I had put out the world's first star-shaped disc and computer generated by Saul Bernstein, who was the artist that did the Apple artwork, the Apple download for the first of them, you know, the Einstein and, and the Apple logo. So this is a Starship just actually playable. There's the grooves. And, uh, and Disney wanted to do When You Wish Upon a Star, but I fought them and won. Now, they took my name, Hollywood Records. They have Hollywood Records. I'd never sued them. But they've been using my, my record name. They protect their trademarks like, uh, like it's a religion. And, and if I really wanted to be a real, uh, you know, if I wanted to be a dog, and, and I would be right on their leg or a bird, I'd be right on someone's head. 
you know, this is a this is the society we live in right now, where you, where lawyers rule, and, and whenever somebody does something wrong, uh, they find a way to make make money off of it. <laughs> there's money in wrong. <laughs> there used to be money in right. <laughs> now there's money in wrong. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's a shift, it's a shift of consciousness, plus we have this electronic jungle that we're in where everybody knows everything right away but they don't know what they are supposed to know right away, like good manners, how to, how to be disciplined and uh, have a family sit down and have a discussion without going to a therapist. Uh, you know, we have, we have a lot of different uh, differences of, of, of what was when I was a kid and that's definitely gone. <laughs> Uh, so you got to erase that and keep moving along, and I am. I'm moving along, so I'm going to do a television, radio, and, and uh, internet triple cast, and use the same uh, uh, stuff that I've been doing for years, which is to get on the air and tell the truth, like I just did. And you know, like uh, the Grammys last night, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it so much. I, the, the Miami Heat was playing anyway, uh, but I would have, I would not have enjoyed it because I don't know any of the artists. I'm not current with the music, and it's rap stuff, which I'm, is of no interest to me. I like rap. I'm a Reynolds rapper, but I don't like that form of entertainment, for it's not my uh, roots. Now, next year at the Super Bowl, going to be a halftime uh, uh, hip hop entertainment, and I, I'm, it's, it's of no interest to me. So that's it. You know, we're allowed different, we're different people, different choices. So what? That's what you have all these 600 channels for. It. Turn the damn thing off, my father used to say. Of course, he was talking about my show. <laughs> it's a Reynolds rap. 